Good morning. We will start in about two or three minutes. Just make sure everybody is logged in okay. So welcome to our what to do during a lockdown. So we'll be with you in two minutes. Good morning, Kareem Wilson. Thank you very much for joining me this morning. We are going to go through a procedure um, as if we were doing a lockdown, kind of the virtual version. So this presentation will take us approximately 15 minutes this morning, and uh, it will give you the scenarios and how we are to act during a lockdown during COVID times. So I just want to let you know that this presentation is brought to you by our OCDSB, also in conjunction with the Ottawa Police Services and the other school boards in our city. So the same presentation is being shown to other schools, every other school uh, throughout our city. So this is our grade 9 to 12 presentation, what to do during a lockdown. All right. So for, just to clarify, COVID-19, as we know, has all kinds of different challenges and we need to be aware of our protocols. However, in the event of a lockdown, lockdown means that we are in, have the potential to be in immediate threat or danger from outside of our school or outside of our classroom. So lockdown kind of trumps everything. So if in the event of a lockdown, or about the real threat that we determine, your safety is still the absolute most important thing. And we will be, we're not practicing school-wide lockdowns right now. We're just gonna go through the scenarios of what it could look like. And in that practice, we are able to maintain social distancing, but in the event of a real lockdown, if we had a real threat, you would not be able to maintain social distancing. So the number one priority in those situations is that you are safe. So we will continue as that, that is our number one mandate. If we are in a, lo in a lockdown during COVID times, you still will be wearing your mask at all times, but the social distancing piece will have to be for, forgone for that period of time. When you hear the lockdown over the PA system, and it would be very, very, very quick. It wouldn't be, please, it will just be those three words, lockdown, lockdown, lockdown. It will come very quickly over the PA. So what are you to do in your classrooms and in a moment? Remain calm, quiet, and out of sight. You're directed to go to the most secure area of the room, and your teacher is going to walk you through that in just a quick moment. And you either are to get on the floor or you crouch down low. Your teacher will be responsible for turning off um, the lights, closing the windows, um, covering the blinds if we have blind coverings, and making sure that the door is locked. Your job is to move quickly, quietly. If you take your cell phone, make sure it is turned off. We're going to talk about that in a moment. And listening to all the directions from your teacher. Those are the key 
responsibilities of our students. Where is the safest place to hide? Okay, every classroom is a little bit different and your teacher is going to determine the safest place to hide based on the classroom layout. And we're gonna pause here for maybe three or four minutes and we're asking teachers to identify that spot to your students and physically move to that spot and show them how they should be uh, moving and locating themselves in the event of a lockdown. So we're pausing here for about three minutes. Thank you teachers for taking that time and showing your students where to find their safest space. If you didn't have enough time, please revisit that after our presentation today. Um, the other thing when you move to your safest place in the classroom, and one of the things when we are, when as principals we walk through after a real lockdown practice with the police, one of the things that they notice is if we had an intruder, if we had a dangerous situation and they were able to look into the classroom, um, they may not see students because the students are hiding, but the books and jackets and backpacks can be visible from the door. So when you move to your safe location, it is also imperative that you take your belongings with you and you don't have to take it to your spot necessarily, but so it is not visible from the doorway. That is a tell that there are students in the class. All right. What to do with your devices? I mentioned that earlier, to take your cell phones with you and you are to cooperate with your teachers and to turn them off, all right? It is, it is again, imperative that your devices are off. I know the first reaction is if you're in a lockdown and it is a real lockdown is that you're scared or you're nervous or you wanna make contact with the outside world. Um, that is the last thing the police want you doing and the school wants you doing. We don't want any communication outside of our building that we can't control during this immediate threat time. So we also don't want anyone being able to look into your classroom or look under the door um, to see any light that is given off by your phone. Remember that your lights are turned off in your classroom. So a cell phone light could pop up and be easily seen by outside. Turn off your phone to silent mode so they won't hear it ring or buzz. Again, that is a tell that if they're looking for students in a classroom, unfortunately, we don't want them to be able to find any. And please, no earbuds. Um, you need to be able to hear the instructions over the PA if they come. Well, they won't come through the PA, we'll get to that in a minute, but you need to be able to hear the instructions um, as if they come to the door or from your teacher. So you need to be vigilant and earbuds need to be out. So what happens if someone knocks on the door during a lockdown or if the bells or announcements or alarms go off? All of those things need to be ignored during a lockdown. If it is a real lockdown and we have an imminent threat, the only way you will be released from that lockdown is by a principal, a vice principal, um, or by the Ottawa police. In a real lockdown, we will walk from classroom to classroom and unlock the door and give you the announcement that we are now moving towards secure schools or that we are in the all clear. If you hear a knock on the door, um, you cannot respond to that knock on the door, it cannot be a reaction and you're asked, no one is asked to open the doors. 
If we're in lockdown, we will open the doors from the outside for you and no inside um, reactions that has to be that has to be tamed and kept quiet. I know that's going to be hard because if someone's knocking on your door, it could be scary and it's often a loud knock or if they ring the alarm or the announcements could also be a ringing of the fire alarm. Even if the fire alarm in a lockdown is pulled, you still need to remain in your classroom. And the only way that you would leave your classroom if the fire alarm is pulled is if your teacher senses there is a real fire. That would be if they see flames or smell smoke or feel heat. Um, and then the teacher will make the determination and decision to move you safely to an evacuation site. So where do you go if you are not in your classroom at the time of a lockdown? So if you're in the hallway, um, the teachers, when they go to lock their doors, will take a quick look outside, but a very, very quick look outside. And if you are close by, they will scoop you up and put you into their classroom and into their safe location. If you're in the washroom, if you can make it out within the first 10, 15 seconds and in, into a classroom, that's great. Um, if you can't, go into the stall, stay in the stall, lock it, sit on the toilet with your feet up so that you cannot be seen from underneath the door. If you're in the learning commons, um, again, find a back space or an office space and close and lock the door. You'll be with the teacher and the teacher will identify that closed space. Cafeteria and gym both have the same rules. If you're in one of those locations, you look for the outside door, the closest outside door. Um, and, or an exit door, leave the building if you are able to do so, okay? If there is no ex, uh, exit door, again, your teacher will walk you through that. Once we're back in real non-COVID times, we will be practicing a lockdown maybe over lunch hours, and that's the trickier ones. Um, so there will be guidance on what to do if you're in a cafeteria, but uh, since the CAF, our CAF doesn't have an exit door that goes right outside, the, the thing that you need to do is stay away from the windows, okay? And if you're outside um, in the schoolyard or anywhere else and you hear a lockdown announcement, because it will also go outside, you need to leave the school property. Now, our evacuation site for any of those situations where we're leaving the building is Terry Fox Elementary School. So if we are in lockdown, they will be communicated with and they will be aware that students who could be in those classes will be going to that evacuation site. Again, going back to that piece, you will be directed by your teacher and accompanied by your teacher to that evacuation site. And when the lockdown is over, when our team and the auto police have determined that there is no longer a risk for imminent threat or safety, there will be an all clear. And then you will be moved into secure schools, which I mentioned earlier, or an all clear. And it will be, um, the announcement will be made over the PA system after we have released you. What happens is in a lockdown, we go to each classroom, which as you can imagine, takes a, a little bit of time. Tell the, that classroom that we are in secure schools. When it is all done, all classrooms are done, we will follow up with an announcement to say that we are in secure schools. So you will have heard it in person and you will also hear it over the PA system. And that means that everybody, the whole school is now in secure schools. What does that look like when you're in secure schools? It means that you, the door remains locked. Um, you're not to leave the classroom, including going to the washroom. And you are to stay quiet in your rooms, but learning can continue. It just means that we're cleaning up whatever has to be cleaned up and sorting through any of the issues that could have resulted from the lockdown. Okay. It does mean um, that we are safe. We are just trying to control the situation at that point. For clarity, and if you have any questions or if you want to discuss with your teacher or want to refer, this emergency response quick reference guide, there is one of these in every classroom. So if you don't have one as teachers, please let us know. We'll get one to you right away. But you can refer to this response sheet. Um, when you are in a lockdown situation. And teachers, if it is a real lockdown situation, don't be afraid to rip that off the wall and take it with you to your quiet space and your secure space so you can refer to it as we move along with the process. And that is all. Thank you, everyone. Um, we will practice these when we are not in COVID times. 
they are unsettling and I apologize that it does make us feel uncomfortable and a little fearful, but the best way to combat any of those anxieties is to know what to expect and have a plan in the event, very, very unlikely event of a lockdown. But you all heard that expression, better safe than sorry, which is where we're at today. So thank you very much for your attention. And teachers, if you have any questions that we haven't answered through here, or you would like clarification for your classrooms, please don't be afraid to ask, send an email, and we can either pop into your classroom or answer it for the whole school if it's um, applicable to whole school. Again, thanks everyone. I'll let you get back to your learning today. Have a wonderful Tuesday.